Alright guys, here for part 3 of the Lego Man tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and tweak his um, clamper things here. Let's go ahead and scale on the x-axis and on the y. Because they looked a little too big. And uh, let's also just rotate them down a little bit more. And also let's rotate them on the z in. Looks better. Okay. Um, everything looks pretty good. I think we can start the texture process. Uh, we're gonna do the head last because uh, we're gonna add a really basic face texture. Anyway, let's go ahead and start the the, uh, the pant leg thing here. I don't know what to call it. Just the bottom half of the torso. So we're going to add a new material. Okay, and uh, instead of trying to guesstimate where we're what color we want we can just go ahead and take it directly from this image here so just select this and then select this part here and click it so we want to make these um, we don't want these as specular as they are so just turn down the specularity and but we are going to turn up the hardness okay and another thing you can notice here is that there's uh, like a grainy uh, texture applied to the surface so we don't want this to be uh, completely smooth. So what we're going to do is just go to texture here, add a new texture, and uh, clouds is good. Uh, that's actually pretty good right there. We want it to be smaller than that though. So uh, let's see if we turn the size up, I believe. I think if we turn everything to like five, it'll make it really small. But for some reason, it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't refresh the image, so just to be safe, we're going to put this on two, just to double it. Okay, and we don't want this to influence the color at all. We want this to influence the normal. So, uh, let's go ahead and do a quick test. Let's select our lamp here. Let's make this a sun lamp and rotate this to where we would want it to hit our Lego man and then let's go ahead and press 5 on our numpad to go into perspective mode or uh, yeah perspective and then press control alt 0 and that way yeah okay first of all that's way too much yeah way 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 too much and we need to also change our sun as well uh, another thing just so that blender doesn't crash on me we need to change display from full screen to image editor that'll uh that's the least glitchy as far as I know. So normal doesn't need to be at one. We can just put this to point point oh point oh seven five would be good. You don't need all of that. Yeah, that's better. Oh, uh, that looks that just point one. Yeah, point one. Another thing I want to do uh, later is we're going to add some approximate ambient occlusion. So this and this can share a material. So uh, for this, this already uh, because these are extensions of the original default cube, they already have materials. So we can just take this blue here. Yeah, and then we'll go ahead and. Uh, we can actually take the t the same texture from the from the pants here and just have them affect the normal as well at point one. Do another test. Oops. Let's go ahead and turn down the spec though. Turn down the specular intensity. Let's go ahead and turn up the diffuse intensity, and then we'll turn up the hardness. F12. Oof. I don't think we did it right here with the texture because it's not showing anything. It should though. See, it's not showing anything being uh, affected. But maybe it needs its own texture. I can go ahead and try that. Just copying the basically the settings point. Point one. Let's see if that helps. Yeah, that did it. OK, 
Okay, another thing we should do, turn up the size to 50% here. Okay, we actually should uh, go ahead and turn this to even more for this one since it's not easily visible. Maybe 0.35 should, or 0.385 should be good. And uh, let's just look at that one more time. Yeah, pants could use a little more too. So yeah, 0.185 is good enough. So for the arms and the clamp things, add a new material. We're just gonna go ahead and turn the red and green values all the way up, just to get a pure yellow color, since this is more of an orangish, orangish-ish color. Sorry, that's kind of a tongue twister. Okay, and uh, for this, again, same thing. Clouds. We're just gonna um, gonna keep the size the same here this time. Normal. We barely want anything here, so 0 0.05 will be plenty for this. And then we're just going to copy this material for this. Make sure these all have the same here. Actually, 0 0.1 should be fine. Sorry about changing my mind all the time another test doesn't seem to be affected oh, it does affect it turn down the spec okay so uh, go ahead and see it from the front view here from the top view okay something we should also add let's go ahead and change this Energy point eight. We will add a spot lighting system and not the sun. This is just for uh, just to see how it looks. Let's go ahead and see how it will look with uh, ambient occlusion. Just press ambient occlusion. It's fine here. Uh, we're just going to use approximate ambient occlusion, uh, and that's actually good enough. So press F12. Well, it looks fine. We still have a lot of tweaking to do, but it looks okay for now. Um, another thing I'd like to do. Let's go ahead and push this in here. GX. Okay, let's go ahead and UV unwrap this head here since we're gonna need this. So, just to as a reminder for the facial facial texture, we have brown eyebrows, black eyes with white highlights, and a black smile. So, for this, we need to go ahead and UV unwrap. So first things first, we need to um, select this bottom one here, then select this top one there. Press Control E, and uh, actually we don't need that much. We just need it to up to here. That's good enough. Control E, uh, mark seam, and then also we need to mark the halfway point, but just of this these parts here. Uh, on each side. So press control 3. And you just want to make sure it hits the part and it doesn't go past the the already marked one. It looks good. Control E. Mark seam. Now let's go ahead and select all. U. Unwrap. Okay, now we just need to look for the face uh, island. Uh, and that would be this one. So we can just scale down the other ones. So we're just going to press L, 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 or sorry about that. So just uh, select all of them, scale them down, and just move them somewhere else. Because uh, these are just going to be pure yellow. Then we want to just go ahead and press L, move this over, and scale it up. And this is going to be where our face texture goes. So um, we can press, and that's good good enough uh, for now. And in the next part, we're going to go ahead and take our UV layout, and uh, we're just going to draw a basic smiley face within Blender uh, because uh, I don't want to have to make this too long or anything like that. 
So um, next part will be the final part. So thanks for watching this, and be sure to watch the next part. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.